Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner-friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. Today we're going to create a web programming project called Rotating Earth Globe. So in this project, we will use HTML to design the structure of the website and CSS to color, design, shape, and do the animations for this website. So let's get started. So in this project, I'll be using CodePen to make this project. So in a new pen of CodePen, I'm gonna go to the HTML section and start writing our HTML code. So let's first declare our HTML tag. So we write HTML. In here, we want to define our body of the HTML. So let's open up the body tag. First, we want to add a header. So to do that, let's add an H1 tag, which stands for the header one tag. In here, we can write rotating globe. And now we want to close our header one tag. So it will display rotating globe. Underneath the headers, we want to add a div. And we also want to give the div an ID of earth. And we can have nothing in the div, so we can just leave it empty like so. Close up the div. And now let's close out body. So we close up body. And then finally, we close the HTML tag. And this will conclude the HTML portion of this project. So now let's move on to our CSS. So in the CSS part, what we're trying to do is to change the CSS of our div called Earth and have it have a picture of the globe and have an animation that rotates the globe. So here, let's change the CSS of this div. So we can refer to this div by calling the ID. And here we named it Earth. So we're gonna put hash hash Earth in here. And here, let's change the position to relative. So let's set the position to relative. This would be relevant for our page. And let's set the height and width of our uh, div to 300 pixels. So let's change the height, assign it to 300 pixels. And the width, which we'll also set to 300 pixels. Now let's add some margins. So here I'm gonna write margin. And the first value I'm gonna put is 0.05 EM. And then the second value I'm gonna write auto. So the first value will apply to the top and the right margin of the page. And the second value will be applied to the left and bottom margin of the page. So here we have 0.05 EM margin for top and right, and an auto margin for left and bottom. Now let's add our background pictures. So let's go to background. Here I'm gonna write hashtag 888 followed by a URL inside of this bracket. Um, I want to put the URL of the picture someone be using. So you can go to Google and find the uh, image address and paste it into here. And as you can see, we have found the picture and inserted it into our website. Now we can have two more parameters, which are zero, zero. And lastly, we're going to write repeat. So the statement for background should look something like this, hashtag 888, followed by URL and uh, link to their picture, zero, zero, and repeat. The picture right now is a square, however. So let's try to make this into a circle. So we do this by setting a border. So let's write border radius. And we'll set the border radius to 50%. Next, let's add um, and change the background size. So we write background size and let's set this to 630 pixels. And lastly, let's define the animations. So here we can either do animation from JavaScript or animation from uh, CSS. In today's project, we'll be using animation of CSS. So here, let's type in animation. And here we'll write in the animation name. Here we'll write rotate. And then followed by four seconds 
or 4s. And then we write linear. And then followed by infinite. So this command animation, it takes in four inputs. So the first input is the name of the animation. We haven't yet defined what rotate is, but this will be the animation that we'll define later that tells the CSS what the actual animation is. Um, four seconds to the durations, which takes four seconds to do the whole an uh, rotate animation. It's linear so that the animation does not speed up in any way and it's linear in speed. And it's infinite. It's the loop, um, so it will loop forever. Next, let's use transition to make our animation smoother. Type in transition. And inside transition, let's write transform. 200 milliseconds and linear again. And here we should define what transform is. So we're going to write transform dash style, and the style we're going to be used is preserve 3D, dash 3D like so. And we're going to also add a box shadow around our square. So um, here we're going to write box shadow. Here we're going to have an inset, so it's inside. We have a 200 pixel, uh, 20 pixels. So insets, 20 pixels followed by zero pixels, followed by 80 pixels, followed by six pixels, and then give it a color of black. So RGB of zero, zero, and zero. And so, so what we have here for the box shadow is that we have gave it an inset of zero, followed by an offset of X, offset of Y, the blur radius, and the spread radius, and then followed by the color. So we have just um, set all of them up in here. And lastly, we want to change the color of the background for this diff, and let's change the color and just give it a hash 000. zero, zero. Now that we have finished the CSS for our diff, let's define the animation. So as you can see here in the animation, we have named our animation to be rotate. And to declare our own animation in CSS, we use the keyword keyframes or at keyframes like this. And now we can declare our animation name, which we have said to be rotate. So in keyframes, it takes in a couple of um, animation. So it takes in the beginning stage, so the start. Here we can simply uh, denote that at 0%. Stands for 0% of the animation. So you know, before the animation has started, this is um, what is happening. Here we're going to change the background dash position to be 0 and 0. And next, we're going to write 100%. This is when the animation is fully completed what we would like to see. And here we will like a background with position at 630 pixels and zero pixels like this. And as you can already see in our template, our earth um, is spinning. And basically what this keyframe rotate does is that at 0%, we have our position at one place and then every four seconds it will go for a full rotation like this and um, we have also told the animation to go at constant speed and basically forever so this is what we're seeing here and before we get carried away let's keep continue our css and do the h1 tag so to change header tag let's write h1 in here we will change the position to relative, and we'll give this the height of 100 pixels and a width of 300 pixels. Let's change the margin all around to auto, and let's make the top and the left padding and margin to be zero. So here, we write top to be zero, and let's left to also be zero. 
and we want this text to be centralized. So let's write text align to be centered. And we add an animation for this where it changes color. So here we can do animation color for one second and we'll have it go for infinite. And again, um, we have defined the animation to use the animation called color, which we have not yet told CSS what it is. So here, like we did with rotate, we have to create a new keyframe. So under here, let's go and do add keyframes. And the name we named the uh, animation to be color. So here, before the animation start at 0%, uh, we will set the color of our text to red. We can change um, our color then to be green. And then we can set our color to be corn flower blue. And lastly, we can set our color to gray. And at 100%, we'll add continually add color. So here we'll add color pink. And each color is separated by a semicolon. And um, here after this, we'll have color red, color purple. And lastly, we have color orange. So doing this now, you can, as you can see, um, our thing is changing color and um, it's actually changing quite fast too. So um, maybe if you guys want, we can add a better delay. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't really matter. It will just keep flipping through colors and you can kind of um, decide which color you want. So if I want color green, I can just go here and do color green, like so. One more thing we want to do is we want to style Earth and the globe, depending on if it has been selected or not. So we should define Earth style before it has been selected and after it has been selected. So let's do that before first. Here I'm going to write Earth and then before. This indicates that this is before it has been selected. Here I'll change the position the absolute. Then I'll have the top have zero padding and margin. So I'll put in zero. And the same for the left. So I'll put in zero for left. So we have no padding or margin on the left. And then I'll change the width to 100% and change the height to 100%. Now I'm going to add content. And this side content, I'm going to leave it blank. Um, so I'll just have an empty string like this. Uh, for opacity, let's change this to 0.2. So it will be slightly less oblique and it will be harder to see. And let's do border, uh, border radius of 50%. And lastly, let's do background and add a radian uh, gradient at circle at 100 pixels. So here, radio radians. Inside here, we want to write circles at 100 pixel by 100 pixel. So that is the height and width. And the color will have hashtag FF and hashtag zero, zero, zero. And yep, this would be our CSS for before. And now let's take a look at after. So let's do earth after. Basically, we have the exact same code. So in fact, from position to border radius, it will be the same exact code. So I'm going to copy and paste. And it is at the background, which it differs. 
So in the background, we'll actually start typing in our own values and sets. So here we're typing negative 80 pixels, followed by 15 pixels, followed by 80 pixels, followed by 10 pixels. And then we'll write RGBA. And RGBA takes in four numbers inside. The first number is zero, second number is zero, the third number is zero, and the fourth number is 0.9. And the last parameter, we will write inset. And yep. And this would be our earth after it's been selected. And yeah, this is the uh, whole CSS of this project, including this HTML. This is the whole part of the website. So that is all for today. In today's project, we made a website similar to the rotating earth globe, which uses CSS and HTML. We used CSS animation, background, and position to make the globe rotate infinitely. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Also, don't forget to check out our other two videos while you're here. Thank you and bye-bye.